All right, welcome back everybody to the Let's Play of Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. My name is Twilight Aegis, and this is going to be episode three of this Let's Play. Last time we took on Dragon's Peak and we saved it alongside retrieving that eternal air source to start rebuilding the core of light. And this time we're going to be headed off to another adventure pack as well as heading off to the water levels, which are actually some of my favorite levels in the game. Um, I just like the element water, not only in Skylanders, but in Pokemon, and I love beaches in real life. It's just kind of my vibe. So, yeah, but we're actually going to be taking on another adventure pack at the beginning of this episode because it actually came with a water Skylander, and this adventure pack works best and kind of fits with the whole water theme. So, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Young portal master, Haldor, the great northern wizard, needs your help. You must go with him at once to save his village of Gladablum, which is locked in the icy grip of endless winter by the evil ice ogres. Hurry, the empire of ice awaits. Nice, and it just very Check conveniently the teleports door. us there. Probably because we can't actually. Well, we can. We can get to the docks that we haven't yet. All right. Let's travel to the Empire of Ice. Of course, this is being live streamed live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Twilight Aegis. Make sure to check it out. You should probably see it in the description. Hit us with a follow. We are actually 14 followers away on the channel from being able to drop five brand new emotes. So that's pretty hype. I'm not going to... I'm not going to advertise it too much, but it is nice to mention if you want to watch these Let's Plays and future Skylocks and everything live, you can. It's, it, but it's going to be on the Twitch channel, not the YouTube channel. A Skylander! Oh, thank the good wahoos you came! Ooh, and you came just in time! Name's Haldor. Can you believe this here icy wasteland used to be a sunny paradise? Flowers and grass and the nicest weather you ever did see. Yeah, no. Sounds great. And it was! Until those ugly, stacked-eyed, noodle-necked ice ogres moved in and changed everything! First, they built a giant wall that blocked the warm sun locking this place in an endless winter. Then they started marching all over, like they owned the place. And that's when the snowball fight started. But they messed with the wrong wizard. Wahoo! <laughs> They surely did, because I have a plan. Ain't she a beaut? The ultimate snowball launcher. Sure, she's a bit of a fixer-upper, but once she's all put together, I'll never lose a snowball fight again. And careful walking on this ice now. It's slippery. Thank you for explaining that ice physics are in an ice level. That's great. All right, so basically that's the, that's the premise. We got to win a snowball fight. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, kind of. This level is known for having a very interesting... Is, can you call it a final fight? I'm not really sure if you can. Okay, anyways, characters who can uh, who can fly actually can negate the ice physics. So that's kind of nice. Skull that also goes for, like, hovering and everything. Alright, undead zone. We'll keep using our boy Spyro a little bit. It'd be nice to kind of get him a little bit of... Uh, a little bit more experience, a little bit more money. Because, again, I think Spyro starts out just a little rough. A little bit more rough than some other characters do. Alright. Hello, Chucker. Okay, give me that money. Again, I always find it useful. Takes just a couple seconds, if even. Break every container. Break every barrel. Just collect the easy free cash. Okay, so there's a gate up here. I believe it's undead. And that it is. Alright, we can have a little cameo here from Hex. Another very powerful character from Spire's Adventure. Who has really good projectile. And it's going to be very helpful in future Skylocks that we do. And again, for reference, um, I call Skylanders Nuzlocke Skylocks. So that's kind of what I mean here. Alright, we're going to... Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. Oh, if we were, Cinder is like the way to go here, if you're gonna use an undead character, of course, because if you can fly, 
Oh my gosh. Like, you just, again, you negate all the, all the physics. So, Cinder, or again, any character who can fly, is definitely the choice for this. You say Hex is really cool? She is pretty cool. She's not, like, my favorite by any means, but I will not deny her strength. When you have her on her orb path, fully upgraded, she can get kind of nuts. She can become a very, very important character in our future challenges. Why did I... Okay, I guess I need more momentum. Alright, dude, you're, you're, you're killing me here. Why? Why is she going so slow? What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? We're gonna request the, the aid, the assistance of Cinder here. might actually not have time to get them all. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, just in time. Alright, that'll get us a nice little hat here. Just as fitting. We got a Santa hat. Alright. There we go. Just, yeah, Cinder's definitely, like, just the better choice there. Okay, we'll go back to Spyro for a little bit. To defend it all. Okay. I'm trying to remember if, if there's anyone we haven't put on the portal yet. I believe Earth... No, have we shown off who's going to be representing Earth yet? I don't think so. I know we know if we're Spyro for Magic. I know Wham Shell's been put on the portal. Boomer has, I believe. Yeah, Chop Chop, Camo, and Lightning Rod. I think it's... I'm not sure if the Earth rep has been put on the portal yet. And I know the Fire rep has not. I do know that. I do know that, for sure. So. I'm not sure about that. Alright, come on. Okay, I know there are collectibles in these little ice mazes. Is there one in this one? If there is, I think it's in the gun in the bottom bottom left, and I think it would be a treasure chest. Right? No, no, no. Look, right there. Slam Bam Soul Gem. Okay. Slam Bam is the character that actually comes with this adventure pack. Just like how Sunburn Soul Gem was in Dragon's Peak, which is where Sunburn comes from. At least that was the pack Sunburn came in for this game. Slam Bam. It makes sense he's here. <laughs> is a pretty cool character. He was also a character I got pretty early on in the game's lifespan. And I always thought he looked really cool. I was really excited that I got him when I was a kid. Um, I actually got Empire of Ice. Oh, look at that. I was right. Um, I got Empire of Ice alongside Pirate Seas, which comes with Terrapin. And then, of course, Dark Light Crypt comes with Ghost Roaster. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up getting the Pirate Seas and the Empire of Ice Adventure Packs pretty early on in the game's lifespan. Um... Compared to, like, a bunch of other characters that I did get, for, you know, for this game. Because, like, I do have all 32. 33 if you include Dark Spyro. Um, but yeah, I always thought that, I always thought Slam Bam looked really cool. And I was really excited I got him earlier on in my Skylanders. Uh, what should I say? Ex I mean, you know, Skylanders. What, what, what's the right word for that? Anyways, in my Skylanders, like, Skylanders ooh, I can't think of a word a for it. Ever since I started playing Skylanders, I got them pretty early on in that lifespan. I'm gonna just say lifespan. I don't think my my brain is blanking. It is currently 12:21 in the morning. I can't think. I've been I've actually been awake since 5:30 a.m. yesterday, technically, because today is now a, di a different day. But hey, the grind doesn't stop, right? Also, you just got destroyed by a snowball. I actually don't know if I realized those did damage like that. I don't play Empire of Ice too much. Out of the, all the adventure packs, it is... Uh, is it my least favorite? Either this one or Dark Light is actually my least favorite. I'm, not, I'm actually not sure between the two. Dark, Dark Light has a more interesting story than this one does. Era? Maybe. Hey, looks like you found it too! It looks like these bozos are defending it, so watch out! 
Why, who? Set their keys and open that there gate. Then I'll show you my masterful plan of mastery. Come on. Nope, I'm getting that. I'm getting the gold. Wait, where, where'd the gold go? Wait, where'd it go? Okay, well, it's gone. Thanks, game. Okay, yeah, you sure do fly slowly. We're gonna grab this treasure chest, and then we're gonna switch off. I think it's kind of fitting to play a water skylander here, so we're gonna give Wham Shell some more time. Also, he didn't really get to, yeah, I'll say he didn't really get to do much in, on the Shattered Island, so this will be kind of a proper debut for him. Awkward ca uh, camera angle there, but all right, Fury flops. Nice. All right, but now we're starting to see a little bit more of those ice physics. Thank you for giving me that experience, finally. Let's go over here. Let's take care of you real quick. So his secondary attack is he can uh, shoot out the starfish from his mace, and his primary attack is uh, swinging his mace. It's a very fast attack in this game. I do know that, I, well, I believe that um, that attack's actually a little bit slower in future games. I think starting with Swap Force, actually. Stories are still told about the greatest catapult ever built, the Leveler which has defended the warm valley of Bindlevale for centuries. Without the Leveler, there is little chance that Bindlevale could defend itself against the cold, loving armies of ice ogres and snow clopses that dwell nearby. You just said you got hit with the ad? Yeah. I will go back for this experience. That just, oh, okay, I was about to say, that better not have just disappeared from my screen. It's valuable. Experience is very valuable. This also speeds me up. That's kind of nice. Gives me some momentum. There we go. I will say, though, the music's pretty nice here. It's not my favorite in the game or anything, but it's nice. this and that'll give us our first piece here to that catapult called what the leveler i think is what it's actually called Wahoo! we only need a few more parts to fix this old catapult and show those ice ogres so and so's a thing or three grab that there next piece then hop on that weird swirly thing to find the next one after that thank you for the detail Skylanders of the undead elements okay, a lot of undead elements here. Itself. Also, William Michelle's at the epic gamer number for cash. It's unfortunate that's about to change. Ooh, but that was kind of that, that was thirty. That's not bad. All right, D. What is behind this wall? I think it's, it is a legendary treasure, actually. I just need a bomb. Oh, I don't think I can get that yet. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a bomb here yet? I don't think so. I'm gonna check though, because I don't wanna forget. There's chicken. I mean, that. It's not helping the situation. Okay, not yet. Although, wow, there's a lot of food just chilling right here. Alright, level two is imminent. That was such a short undead zone, dude. Like, what was the point of that undead zone? Okay. Nice. Way to aim. 
Okay, fine. I was trying to interrupt his animation, but it was just, it was too late. Ice physics are so fun. Okay, come on. Yeah, see why it's a little bit helpful to have someone with fly. Or, like, I know Zap also um, does pretty well, because he can just slide. And I'm pretty sure that also will negate the ice physics. Those old dudes will freeze you in place. Give me all the gold, please. Or don't give me any, that's fine. Whoa, I did not mean to press minus. That was my bad. If I get hit, I'm dead. Oh, it's you. Okay. See, now the food would be useful. Or level 3. Hey, there we go. Level 3, baby. Okay, I'll take my 25 gold from there. Let's go over here and grab this real quick. My OCD is going to force me alongside this tiny bit of XP. Just going to snag some of that. Thank you. Okay. Come on. It's right there. Okay. Ah, yes. This. I actually don't think there's anything to collect in this one, which is kind of weird. You'd think they'd have treasure somewhere. I think you just gotta find the the pressure plate. Talking like this is Minecraft. Should be down here. Alright. Or is it in the bottom right instead of bottom left? Nope, it's bottom left. Okay, I'm gonna go check the bottom right just in case, but I do not think there's anything there at all. But we're gonna check just in case, because I don't want to miss anything. That was close. Oh my gosh, come on, game. Yeah, okay. We're good. Yeah, you see how the ice physics can be a little annoying? Just because you get a lot of momentum, and it takes a while for them to just, like, actually change direction, and then if you get hit by something, it messes you up. Okay, so there's a hat over there. Okay, there we go. Right, shake the Wii Remote. No, I will not wear the hat. Oh, yikes. Oh, dude, you're going to show me the money? Give me that. What is it? Like 25? 20. Not even 25. Wahoo! Now get bring that sucker back to the catapult. You said these are the bad kind of ice physics. Yeah, like, I mean, it doesn't, like, ruin the experience, but it's part of the reason this isn't, like, my favorite adventure pack. Because, like, it's still an enjoyable level, but just, some, I think it's a little much sometimes. It can be a little much. Like, when you're, like when I was trying to get to that teleporter earlier, and it took, like, 20 seconds when it should have taken, like, two. Aw, cripes. It's probably over in that battlefield area. Dad burns Cyclops territory. I should warn you. They use real artillery shells instead of snowballs. That's fine. Can I have a bomb? Just use that exploding ball over there to clear the way. Wahoo! Okay, now we go back and grab the oops, grab the legendary treasure. I, for some reason, thought that spawned at the beginning. Right when we got here. Nope, it does not. It just conveniently spawns when we need one. Oh, thanks, game. Thank you for that, by the way. That's 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 a appreciated now we gotta walk all the way back here and and, and try again okay if he's too slow we'll switch to someone who's a little faster if that doesn't go over that are you kidding me 
some something that is unfortunate is there are moments where you will need to like hit a wall with a bomb and there are some characters that are too slow and they cannot make it to that wall in time as we might be seeing here i mean i bet that this is possible see it's fine but i mean i have had moments where i'm like i need to switch off just to get a faster character that can actually make it in time all right we got the snow globe that's plus 500 that's nice Wham Shell can get an upgrade now. Alright, we'll make our way back to the bomb for what, like the fourth time? Except we'll definitely hit that wall. It definitely won't mess up the aim and just go somewhere completely unrelated, right? Good. Thank you, King. That's happened before. Skylanders is weird sometimes. You'll, you'll be like right up to a wall and you'll swing it and it just won't go to the wall. It's very Sky weird. Of the tech are in this zone. Okay. We'll go ahead and finish the level of the game show. That'll be fine. We can't get past these. However, they, they can blow them up with artillery and add ice buildings. Oh my gosh, I thought that was breakable. that thank you okay well it wasn't worth it anyways oh my gosh come on man just let me go through this kind of actually helps with the momentum See what's over here real quick. Don't miss anything. Also, just don't want to get distracted. Come on, let's take care of one, please. Thank you. All right, good aim. Good aim. We hit one out of three. Get out of here. on solid ground and we can't even hit a pot thank you all right we should be nearing the end here there's another treasure chest oh my gosh that would have been a very upsetting 25 damage isn't really that bad. That's every treasure chest found. I believe two went to Whamshell and two went to Spyro. Don't do that to me. Thank you. Our armor stat kicking in there to prevent the cactus damage. We're just gonna chill here, it's fine. I, I, okay, maybe not, but eh, it's whatever. Good gravy, you did it! Just come on back to the catapult! Wahoo! Alrighty. Could have teleported me, but I'll walk. Of the undead element are stronger in this zone. <laughs> we are back in business. Ooh, we're gonna give those ice ogres walls such a catapulting. And you know what's better than launching snowballs? Fireballs! I mean, you got a point. But I don't know if I've ever heard the term we're gonna give that a good catapult. It's like... Okay, I think you would... Alright, here's the boss fight. It's a wall. How epic is that? It's literally this. If you've never played this adventure back or never seen this game or anything, like, it, like this is this is the end of the level. It's the wall. I just tend to just attack the lower section. Just keep doing the damage. Yeah, because it'll it'll knock out anything above it. Of course it takes a couple more hits, but eh, it's fine. Oh yeah, let's grab 
grab that times three that looks like a Sonic item. Oh, it was only for one shot, though. Okay, well, that's kind of lame. weird how it's just a green on the other side but you know magic I guess it's probably the game's explanation for it Yep, I guess it's magic. Huzzah! Hey, I haven't said huzzah in years. It's always been wahoo! But now that you've saved our valley and brought back spring, oh, it's huzzah forever! <laughs> I can feel the air warming up already. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am off to put on my swimming trunks. <laughs> All right, good. We got everything. There we go. That's half of the adventure packs knocked out. I believe Eon's going to talk to us and is going to cue this cutscene again. Yeah, we're going to skip the that. We've seen those. They were the Among Us statues. Investigate the docks? I know there that. Seems to be a real ruckus coming yeah. from over there. Thanks, Hugo. I couldn't skip that. I can skip that, though. Yes, I realize that the docks need checked out. I got that. However... Oh! Oh, I, do I, I already collected this, didn't I? I didn't know you have to do this again. I well, we saw the explanation. It's a discount. It's like a 2% discount per wing sapphire. We already know this. However, we can hold B to charge up the starfish attack now. That's pretty epic, honestly. We'll skip that. We don't really need to see that cutscene. Well, I don't think we've seen Wham Shells. We can see it once. Let's get a better mace. Nice. Cool. Let's check Spyro. I actually don't think he can get anything, but... Oh, it's the first time this is happening. It's weird. Sometimes when you take a... There we go. Sometimes... Why? Your Wham Shell's not near the portal, man. So sometimes when you take a character off the portal, and you either do it, like, slowly, or you set them near the portal, it sometimes will actually, like, read the, uh, the chip in the character. But the character's not on the portal, so it'll, like... I don't know. It'll, like, sense the chip for, like, a little bit, and that'll happen. So you have to take the character, put it on the portal, leave him there, take it off. I don't think Spyro can get anything. Actually, we can... We can. Flame balls can travel further. Interesting how they're called flame balls, not fireballs, but okay. Okay. We're gonna go investigate the docks. We'll go ahead and put Wham Shell back on the portal here. Alrighty. On my streams, people have really liked the character we're about to meet. I I do too. I think he's great. Say, if you're going to eat me, you should know that I'm really salty and kind of high in cholesterol. If you are eat me, I'm salty and fat too. Oh great! Someone get me out of here! Someone get the underwear! <laughs> Hilarious. I actually had to sit here and listen to that monster make up recipes, and I was the main ingredient. Uh, this is just the worst. Um, little help, please? Take a look inside the lock and see if you can trip the tumblers. Hello, Gurgle Finn, the Chad. Alright, we rotate the lock. And that's about it. You said he's underrated? I don't know. I don't know how the Skylanders community feels about Gurgle Finn. I love Gurgle Finn. Holy crap, but... that was close. I came here looking for you, Skylander. 
But instead, I ended up in that cage and was almost made into German goulash. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have any sheep on you, would you, Mr. Fish? Gurgelfin. Gesundheit. No, my name. It's Gurgelfin. I'm a German, not a fish. And where would I even keep a sheep anyway? I'm not wearing any pants. Oh, uh, right. I, I, I see. I've been looking for you, Skylander. I come from a nearby island where trolls have taken over and enslaved the rest of my kind. Please help us. Hmm, trolls. Very dangerous. Not like sheep, mind you, but still. You should help them. They're obviously in a fine kettle of fish. Oh, sorry. Watch it, Molbot. He said the only character people seem to not like too much is Diggs. Interesting. I don't mind Diggs. I mean, he's not my favorite, but... I thought Diggs was a fan favorite for some reason. I thought people liked him a lot. Nah, I love Gurgelfin. Gurgelfin and T-Bone. Those are the Chads. And Flynn, obviously. Alright. Great! I knew you were alright. Are you ready to shove off for Oil Spill Island? Let's do it. Finally, someone who takes me seriously. No cracks about the one that got away or a really big fish story. Jeez. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, by the way, you might want to hold on to something. Arbo? Oh! oh, I do like Arbo too, yeah. But I like T-Bone and Gurgelfin way better. But Arbo's not bad. Although I know Mankey does not like Arbo. You know, this used to be a beautiful place before the trolls came and started drilling for oil. They give it all to Chaos for his crazy Why's machine. Why's the oil? Why's the oh capital? And then if things weren't bad enough, they captured my people. But now you're here. Go take care of business, Skylander. Free them and teach those trolls a lesson. And hurry. I can already smell the cooking fires and tartar sauce. <laughs> Arbo is the life. Yeah, I'll say guide. Because, I mean, Flynn guides you through the ear levels. Gurglefin's water. Diggs is earth. Arbo's life. You know, he's like the tree. He's, I mean, he's a, he's a tree. Hurry. Save our people before they become fish sticks. Before they become fish sticks. I love Gurglefin. All right. First off, I'm going to loot your town. Um, respectfully, of course. You don't need any of this money, right? I'm just going to, you know, grab it real quick. Story scroll. Originally, oil was a popular milk and hair tonic. Unfortunately, it made all their hair fall out. Now that the Mulkin are all bold, oil is pretty much just used as a fuel source for tech machines. It's it's why I say highlighted. It's it's uppercase there too. That's kind of weird. How did that didn't hit anybody? Okay. That was kind of weird. Hello, Mr. Troll. Back off. Alright, we also got the uh, prism puzzles, is what I'll call them, or like reflection puzzles. Alright, and actually, we got a soul gem just right over here, just chilling. Happens to be our boy, Wham Shell. Nice. We could skip a little bit and go up there, but I'm just gonna go back. We'll just go back this way. Okay, yep. We didn't need to do that. I was just making sure there wasn't like an enemy here, because if there was, I would want the experience. Nope, but we have a tech spell punk, which is actually a pretty cool enemy. I actually like tech spell punks quite a bit. Although they're pretty weak right now. They get a little bit stronger later on, because we will see them again. But they're pretty neat. They fire lasers from the sky. 
Yo, you were like gliding, dude. There we go. Nice little level four. Go ahead and switch off. I think it's very fitting that we use Boomer here, considering there's a lot of trolls in this level. I think Boomer kind of just kind of you know fits in. Also, he's only level two, even though I mean most of our characters are probably level two, or except the two we haven't used yet. But yeah, we'll go ahead and use our boy Boomer. Give him the money for the treasure chest. Ramcho got some good upgrades, so we'll go ahead and. Be considerate. We'll pass this on to another character. Here we go. I think this level does a great job with, the, with its music. Uh, it's very atmospheric. It really kind of gives off that sort of pollution vibe. I, like, it, it's weird to explain, but I hope you kind of know what I'm talking about here. You know what I mean? There we go. And a heck element. That works out. There's a key. So we gotta free some Gilman. We can do just that. There's one right there. Okay. Alright, we're actually gonna go over here real quick before we progress. Hello, Tech Club Punk. Nice. Get rid of you. And get the chip. The delicious cheese. Oh, hello, troll grenaders. You are much worse than giants. Get out of here. Alright, another treasure chest for Boomer. Yeah, those things are not much of a threat in this game. In giants, though, when you're playing on hard or nightmare, yeah, they do some damage. We need to switch back to Wham Shell. We're going to be getting another soul gem. Alright, the only water uh, characters can actually, like, travel on water. So, usually traveling on water is, uh, well, it's optional. And you know the game came with guild grunts. Like, back in the day, you know, you, you could do all this. Um, if, if you only owned the starter pack. That's probably part of the reason they added Gil in there, is just so you could traverse water without having to go out and buy a water character. All right, cool. Grab all that money. We have Boomer Soul Gem. So William Show and Boomer are both in this level. You say Gilgrun's still the best guy, Lander? Gilgrun's great, and I do love Gilgrun. But he's not my fa he's not my favorite, but I do like Gilgrunt quite a bit. He might be one of my favorite waters. Oh, I don't know. I, I, there are so many Skylanders from the water element I love. I mean, I love Gilgrunt. I was going to say, he might be like a top five water Skylander, but he might have to be like a top ten, man. Also, I don't know why I make so many top five and top tens and stuff in my head. Am I the only one that does that? Like, do, do you guys ever just, like, randomly make top five, top ten lists in your head? Just about random stuff. Like, I've always done that. I don't know why. We'll make an upside down four. So, you believe one of the reasons they added Trigger Happy was for his lob attack? You mean in the starter pack? Did you do that too? Okay. That's something I've always done. About everything. I don't know why. But I always rank things in my head. Oh yeah, these also do damage to enemies. So, you know, that's useful. Interesting. That's kind of a... I don't want to say weird, but... It's an interesting reason to him to be in the starter pack like why why 
I mean, you know, yeah, why? Why was that move the reason why I trigger happy? Excuse me for yawning. It was in the uh, starter pack. Because yeah, Spyro makes sense. I mean, Spyro's a vendor. You know. And in Spyro is probably recognizable. It's probably another reason why Spyro is in the uh, starter pack. Just because, I mean, marketing, branding. Like, hey, you can play a Spyro in this game, and all you gotta do is buy the game. You don't have to buy him separately. Ah, there's this tank. Normally, I don't come over here until later in the level. I normally go the other way, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, this tank actually can do decent damage if you just like let it hit you, so let's just get rid of it. It doesn't have very much health. And we'll actually fight the troll after, so that's kind of neat. It doesn't kill the troll. Do you remember hearing that in like an anniversary live stream? Because some enemies are on platforms and they wanted the player to be able to kill them properly. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Okay, that's why. Okay, yeah, because Spyro and Gilgrom can't do that. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, we actually need to go back here. There's an elemental gate back here. Alongside a key. Yeah, I would go ahead and move that to that prism over there, but I believe it resets after we go into this fire gate. So, like, we'd have to just do it again anyways. Alright. Let's get a little cameo from one of my original nine, being Flame Slinger. Another very useful character for Skylocks and everything. Honestly, projectile characters are just... Very, very oh, handy invisible. for any sort of challenge like that. All right, let's hope I can remember the route here. It's been actually quite some time since I've done this. So. It's been at least probably a couple months since I've done this gate. Hello. really gonna bring me back here. Oh. Well. Uh, we'll take the right one. I hope I don't stay here too long. They also said Trigger Happy was actually meant to shoot out the gold you had on him. Oh, that's interesting. But I, I can see why they would scrap that. Like, I think that's a really, a really neat idea, but I can see that getting annoying. But that also would limit his, uh, his attacks. If he had no gold, you know? In the, especially, like, in the beginning of the game and everything, that would limit his attacks quite a bit. Okay, so here's the hat. But I believe the legendary treasure is also here. We got a plunger head. So we're going to want to get that legendary treasure. I'm pretty sure that's all that's here. Is that in the hat? Alright, hello, grenader. One hit, huh? That's all it took. <laughs> Alright, bring me back here, huh? I do not remember which one I took. platform please hey that's not right okay oh i'm gonna regret this i don't i think it's the left one but i'm gonna do the right one oh uh, well i haven't been here yet so you think they said they might do an anniversary stream for giants too wait Wait, was this, like, a recent anniversary stream? Because, I mean, I do know it was, like, the 10-year anniversary last last year. So, I mean, Giant's anniversary is coming up. I didn't realize that was, like, a recent one. I figured that would be, like, you know, later. Like, maybe it's one year or something. Like, Well, that would make sense for them to do a stream for Spyro's Adventure. And then, um, like, the year Giant's came out. 
because they want to focus on marketing giants. See, this is what I suck at. I suck at remembering which one I have to freaking take to get all the way back to the one that we opened. We'll find it. Have I been here yet? Yeah. Um, we'll take this one. Okay, only one option. Aw. Oh, I've already been here. Yeah, my lack of experience in this one's been catching up to me here. Oh, what? Why? Why do you why do you just bring me back here? Is this just a loop? Don't tell me that's just a loop. That's just a loop. What's the point of that? Okay. Oh my gosh, it was that one all along. Okay. Bring me to the legendary treasure, please. There we go. I should have given that to someone else. I should. Oh, that's that's like how much money? That's well, okay, it's only two fifty. That's not helping anybody. Whoops! I should have given that to somebody else. Oh well, mistakes were made. All right. Thank you for your service, flame slinger. All right. Let's go back to Boomer. Okay, that wasn't that bad. There have been times where I just literally completely forget the route and like I'm in that zone for like five plus minutes. Maybe, yeah, like it's, it's, it's happened multiple times. All right. We also have this key for the fourth Gilman. We're actually almost done with Oil Spill Island. It's not a very long level. It's one of the shorter ones actually. Okay, there we go. Clear up some enemies. Won't hurt. Can I, uh, thank you? That's all five. You did it. You know, I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I hate to say it though, but we still need your help. It's this factory. It's polluting our waters and generally mucking things up. It's ruining everything. Please help us destroy it. Hey, you know, if you could get your fins on a troll bomb. Maybe throw it into that big smoke belcher. I think that would do it. Kaboom! The trolls would be gone, our home would be safe, and then maybe I'd run out of things to complain about. Although probably not. Fair enough. I just like how real he is. It's like, yeah, relatable. Get the cheese. Give me the cheese. Alright, spell bomb. Also, we can kill those grenades with that bomb. It will spawn experience, and we can collect the experience that's like close to the wall. Also, there's a treasure chest back here, so Boomer's about to make bank. But yeah, so if, if the experience is close up to the wall, as you can see, we're collecting some of it. And they will just keep spawning. Like, they will just keep spawning. Okay, hold on. Let's take care of this spell pump real quick so I get the experience. Because if we threw the bomb into the uh, factory, um, it, it would just, you know, end the level. So that, I mean, doing that just got us to level 4. Also, Boomer can just do this. So, I mean, that, that, that helps. But yeah, I mean, see, we can collect some of the... Oh, I'm glad you didn't get that one. We, we can collect some of this experience. All right, that's a little still island complete. So, 
That was great, especially for a landlubber. You saved us all. Thank you. There we go. to look through the far viewer, but it's a little rusty and it won't turn past a certain point. Do you mind, fish fingers? I'm trying to concentrate. There, it's finished. Ta-da! <laughs> On behalf of my people, I present you with this oil donkey. I didn't name it. And it comes with all the oil you could ever want. Very impressive, Mr. Gurglefin. And that's exactly what we need right now. How convenient. Perfect. We should be able to use that on the far viewer. Grab a can of that stuff and meet me up there. Will do. What do you got to say? Hugo needs you to oil the far viewer. After that, why don't you come see me? Okay. Will do. There's a little bit of money in that, I don't know, prison, I should say. It's not really worth it. All right, let's go oil the far viewer. There we go. How convenient. Just what we there. need. There, I think that should do it. <gasps> there it is. The twins. Let, let me back up a step. We'll need the eternal water source to add to the core of life. But, according to my blueprint, the water is no good to us unless we can get something called the Twin Spouts of Osha Major Minor, which I found! There! Holy anchovy! That's Starkwater Cove! Oh, it's a nasty place filled with pirates. I'll bet the Twin Spouts will fetch a pretty penny for a plundering pirate. Sorry for the alliteration there. Let me prepare the ship then. I'll just go. I'll go now. As much as I hate to say it, you should go with Gurglefin. I'll keep looking Bruh, for clues to the Eternal Gurglefin Water Source. Is a chat. You can leave whenever you're ready. We respect him here. All right, we've got upgrades to do. I don't think Whamshell can get one, but we'll check. But well, Boomer definitely can. And Boomer hit a nice little level four. Love to see that. Alright, let's see. Smash has increased damage and will knock enemies back further. Troll bomb. We'll grab the troll bomb. You know I like the uh, the ground smash move. Eh, if we can afford the more expensive one, let's go ahead and get it knocked out. And yeah, we can't get the other one yet. Okay. Yo, Flooding Mist, thanks for coming to the stream. Have a great night. Yep, I right, can't do anything. Alrighty. Let's see, who do we want to send in to the next level? Um, I'm not too sure, actually. Let's give Camo a little bit more playtime. He's just chill. Great! Terrific! I love a long water voyage. We'll set sail at once. Gee, I hope I don't get seasick. Why does he say that, though? He, he likes a long voyage, but he's like, well, but, but he gets seasick. Too late. And you, we've been on the boat two minutes. I mean, seconds. Not minutes. Seconds. Gates are closed. 
pirate girlfriend. At the outer island. Frame rate. Love to see it. Looks like we're going to have to find a way inside the fortress if we're going to retrieve the spout. Hmm. Yep. This is just perfect. All right, we're gonna go behind him real quick. There's a soldier I'm on the boat. Soul gem for our boy Dino Rank. Alright, when I was a kid, Dino Rang was my favorite Earth Skylander from this game. Still like the character a lot, but Prison Break definitely has become my favorite Earth Skylander from this game, and one of my favorite Earth Skylanders of all time, and one of my favorite Skylanders of all time. But Dino Rang is still pretty good. Yeah, that might be helpful. Skylanders of the Earth are stronger. Alright, let's grab a little bit of this pocket change. We could get camo at least one level up. That'd be nice, but some uh, upgrades would be great. Kirkofin just got shot. Oh, wait. There we go. What was that? Oh, sorry. Okay, that just didn't work. That's fine. Gosh, dude, he's getting shot. So we're gonna we're just gonna grab the rice real quick. Or not. That's weird. Oh my gosh. Again, I go and I grab every little thing I can. It's just the way I play the game. The way I play the series. It's important. Could be a difference of an upgrade or not. Really could. It's happened so many times where just collecting all the little pocket change has been, has actually a made a difference. Near the top of the waterfalls. That's where they hold their pirate auctions, don't you know? I bet my left fin, that's where the spouts are. Cool, let's grab the key. How did it didn't work that time either? That's kind of weird. Maybe it's a slope thing. Perfect score. 
Naturally, of course. Alright, yep, here's the magic gate. Alright, take camo off, get a little visit from our boy, Double Trouble. A broken character, oh my gosh. Literally insanely powerful. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. Okay. It's broken because of this move right here. If we see any enemies, you'll see why. Yep, and there are some enemies. Look, that. look how, look how, just, oh my gosh, just constant damage. It's insane. And it locks on target. Although it does have a hard time. Focusing on items. Oh my gosh. Can you not break that? There we go. Just instant. Instant, dude. He's probably another character that could solo the final boss, honestly. Or at least come super close to it. Give me that money. Even though he technically doesn't need it. So we'll grab that real quick. Make sure I do the right route. And there we go. 16 moves. Is that a perfect or is that just good? It's excellent, so it's close, but not quite. Alright, what hat is it going to be today? Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's the Tiki hat. Does that bring me back here? Actually, why does that bring me back here? That's kind of weird. Huh. Oh, it brings you back to the beginning. It's the same teleporter we used. I was about to be like, why does it bring me here? All right, there's a story scroll down there we're going to want to grab. So let's go ahead and switch to Whamshell, who can grab that for us. A note from a salty sea dog says it's not easy being a pirate. Many complain of long hours, seasickness, and parrot bites. Worst of all is having to explain what a poop deck is. It's truly a tragedy. Hold on. There's stuff I can break. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go back. Oh, that's just Gurgle Pen. Okay. There's a treasure chest down there. It's important to know. We've got the Anchor Boy. By themselves, these guys are really not a threat. You can just maneuver around them. You can do enough damage to just kill them without them actually really getting to attack. They're not that bad. However, if they're paired with enemies with projectiles, you just gotta just be aware. Just be aware. 
because I've gotten comboed before where I would get hit by a projectile and it would literally knock me right into the area where his anchor strikes down and I've died. Like, it, it's, it's unfortunate when that happens. It's very unfortunate. Okay, Kimo's up at the 800s. That's nice. If we can get him to level 3, that would be good. Then we can switch off. Ah, yes, and then the water spell punk. They don't really... Unfortunately, it's not that cool of an enemy. All it does is freeze those puddles. Well, they, have, they have really cool animations when they die, though. Let's just double check what's over here real quick, just in case. Nothing. Yep. Chicken. Might as well check out the shoreline here. I don't think there's. Oh, we can sink that. There's some enemies in that. We can go ahead and sink that. Ooh, thank you for the very minimum amount of experience for that. Okay, there's a soul gem right down there. Skylanders of the Earth element are strong. Come on, level up is like so close, man. Kind of surprised that we actually were able to grab that. That's nice. We got a soul gem down here for a character with a really cool design. Who's also fun to play. My boy Igniter. He was in the before Giants came out, so again, in this game's lifespan, before the sequel, he was one of the last characters I got. Like, Camo was there, uh, what was one of the last ones, Warnado, Igniter, and then of course I never got Ramshaw when I was a kid, Series 1 Ramshaw, at least I never got as a kid until uh, almost a year ago. Although I got Lightcore Ramshaw pretty early in the swap of course's life. So I got, I, I, I had Ramshaw at least. Eventually. It's still crazy to me. Every time I think about it, it is still just crazy to me how I just never found that. I just I never found that figure. All right, isn't this where the legendary treasure is? It is. We'll give this to Camo. We wouldn't give this to him, but then we'll switch off. You got it from the 3DS starter pack. I actually, yeah, so since I, I, I bought the 3DS starter pack like a year ago as well, um, I actually have an, the, the extra Stealth Elf and Igniter literally right over there. Um, yeah, and then of course I have Dark Spyro with my main collection. Which is actually, he's right there, so. 3DS starter packs is pretty good. I mean, it comes with Dark Spyro, but it comes with Stealth Elf and Igniter, and those are both really cool characters. Okay, we did say we are going to switch off, so let's go ahead and switch off. And... Alright, let's see. I think it's about time to introduce my boy. My favorite Scanlander of all time, which is Eruptor. Always has been Eruptor, and always will. Oh my gosh, you almost just killed him. But yeah, Eruptor has always been my favorite character of all time, and um, probably always will be my favorite character of all time. I love this guy so much. So much. I was always interested in him ever since the commercials. I think the commercials for this game were really, really good. It's what actually, what I saw that made me aware that this game exists and was coming out at the time. Oh my gosh, don't kill me. Thank you, Armor Staff. Okay, I'm, I'm being an idiot. Oh my gosh. It would have been so unfortunate if he died. I mean, he still could. He still could. Let's not do that. Thank you. Thank you for the food. 
food, much appreciated. Wait, so why is this puddle here? Really, you're gonna... I can't even walk on that. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I can't... At least I got the experience out of that, I guess. We'll grab the twin spouts. Have I played the 3DS games? I've played, like, the first one or two levels of... I only own oh, Spyro's Adventure on the 3DS. That's the only 3DS Skylanders I own. And I bought it for the 3DS portal, because that portal allows you to actually reset the, uh, um, your Imaginators. Because you can't reset Imaginators. It's so dumb! You can't reset Imaginators. Like, in the, in the game. You, you can't. So if you buy used um, Imagination Crit, uh, or whatever, uh, Imaginite Crew, okay. Don't hit me! So if you buy, you know, like, used Imaginators, you can't just delete it and make your own. You have, you have to, you like, you would have to, uh, just deal with whatever the person, you know, the first owner made. But, um, so I was looking it up on, like, okay, like, when I did not know that, I looked up how to do it. How, how can you we reset it? Because I couldn't figure game. it out in the game, and then I read that, and I saw that. I'm like, that's lame. Hold on, we'll tower. listen to what Virgil Finn has to say. He's telling us there's a switch on the tower. I can't interrupt our boy. And two, say you also lie a lot. Don't know. Good luck. Let me know how you do. But then I saw something that said if you own the, a 3DS portal, and you put the um, Imaginator on that portal... It'll actually, like, I don't know, it'll mess up the chip or something, and it'll say, like, I don't know if it says there's an error, I don't remember, it's been a while since I've done it, but it'll be like, do you want to reset this figure? And if you click yeah, it'll it'll reset it, and then when you put that, um, the Imaginite, you know, the Imagination Crystal or whatever, I forget what the, the, the correct term is for, I don't use Imaginators very much. When you put that on, you know, your normal Imaginators portal again, it'll start from the creation screen, so it basically resets them. Okay, I have to get this first try because it's pretty lame. Be, all right. Oh, good. It is, like, you can miss that. Um, you can, like, land on that fence and then fall down. And then if you do that, you don't get to use this teleporter to get this treasure chest. It's kind of lame. But multiple times, I and you, you just, all you gotta do is hold forward. But there have been times where I hold forward and I somehow miss. And I just fall down. And, it, and it's like, well, great. That's a bunch of money I didn't get. Okay. Creation Crystal. Thank you. It's been a while. Thank you. Alright, but he... The reason why I love Rupture so much is he just had a funny personality to me in the, uh commercials for this game, but I also love this eruption attack. I love this attack. I think it's awesome, and it gets really good. It gets very, very useful. Not only does it do more damage, have, like, more range and everything, but it, it becomes almost instant. He no longer has, like, that, you know, the startup on it, like, right there. It basically becomes instant, and it's awesome. All right, we got a water gate. I think this might be a good time to bring back the boy. All right, I do remember this gate. Nice, three damage, very intimidating. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, close. But not close enough. Please don't. Don't float away. Don't float away. Oh. A lot of waiting, I see. This whole gate's just waiting. And there we 
go. The fruit hat. Or the tropical turban. Alright, we'll take this world before we get back. We are extremely close to finishing Darkwater Cove. Alright. That door is crooked. And it doesn't even look like it's like on the building, but okay. It's a Wii game, can't be too specific. Alright, hold on. Yeah, right up there is the switch, so that's it. Thank you. Unfortunately, our boy won't be able to get an upgrade, but that's okay. He had a nice little debut. Almost instantly died, but it's fine. I missed a treasure chest. Where? Don't tell me it was in that water gate. I missed a treasure chest. Well, that's a bummer. It wasn't like in a weird area in that water. Osha Major Minor, forged from the scales of the Leviathan. Among us. that the twin spouts of Osha Major Minor are in place, we can talk about the eternal water source. Turns out it's located in a string of islands. String of islands? Huh, what are we waiting for? I'll get the boat ready. Oh, you'll need more than a boat, I'm afraid. From what I've heard, the eternal water source has returned to the sea and can only be summoned with the four ancient statues on these islands. Um... Why do I think there's a big butt in all of this? But I've also heard rumors of a giant fish that lives in those waters. It's said that he eats whole villages. The locals call him Leviathan. Leviathan? It looks as if we have more than just chaos and the darkness to worry about. You must be extremely cautious. Yeah, it's really not that Talk bad. Alright. Let's see. Camo can get some upgrades. So let's just go ahead and go do that real quick. I love our boy, but he is slow. We'll get there. Okay. Oh, wait. Why am I doing this? He can't get anything. He's close, but he can't. All right. Cause do I want melons, or I'm gonna do the increased damage for the firecracker? Also, now that I think about it, I think we did show off who the Earth character is, because in Sky Schooner Docks, there was an Earth Gate which we used. Who do we use for that? I think it's Dino Ring? Either Dino Ring or Bash. Anyway, so there's an Earth Gate. But then didn't we find either the legendary treasure or a treasure chest there and we gave it to the Earth character? I don't know, we might have actually done that. If so, then we know everybody. If not, in the next episode, we'll know, you know, we'll introduce the Earth character. But oh, I don't remember. We might have already seen him. But if we haven't, you'll see him in the next episode, so. Ready to go and get savagely eaten by a giant fish? Uh, I mean, find the eternal water source? I hate this park. I think this would be fun, but that's just me. 
when it comes to like amusement rides and everything just the initial drop oh my gosh the adrenaline the adrenaline rush from that is I, I i don't know i love that kind of stuff more pirates sheesh like i don't get enough of these guys they might be looking for the statues in these islands too so watch your tail fin out there oh and if you see a giant killer fish along the way don't call me <laughs> all right there's the location. The Mombus says the eternal water source will only reveal itself if you place all four statues in the shrine. So get them all! We'll do, Gurgelfin. We will. Although Camo's had some time. So we're gonna go ahead and hmm who do we want to use here honestly let's let's give chop chop some more time Slice and dice gosh he is just sick and then with that <laughs> we get another little cameo here from our boy zap because we actually have a water date Okay, let's hope that Leviathan doesn't come close to me yet. Alright, we're good. If you are swimming above it, it actually will come up and, and get you, so. Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. There's a treasure chest. We'll give that to William Shell in a sec. I'll be back. back here yeah oh, gosh yeah zap makes that a breeze with Gilgrunt, that's rough that can be that can be difficult nice okay so grab the hat all right the napoleon Alright, Zap, thank you for your service. But this treasure chest will go to Whamshell, since it is in the water gate. Alright. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh well. Oh well. That happens sometimes in this game. We can switch back to Chop Chop. In your service. All right. Ooh, he might have a hard time catching up. Well, no, we'll block it with a turtle, I think. The Habanero. These little guys are supposed to be really annoying. There's only a few situations where they are, like, in that water gate. Gilgrunt or any character who, who like melee can really struggle catching up to him. But like in this level, there are spots where you can, you know, you'll be able to block his path. Like right here. I mean, he can't go anywhere. So I mean, except he did that. But they don't have a lot of health. Thankfully, they do not have a lot of health. That would be annoying. They're not horrible. There's just some, again select few areas. Or they could be just a minor nuisance. Give it of all you. I don't think I can reach you. Yeah, I can't reach that. You can't sink that boat. Not with Chop Chop, at least. Alright, we are very close. Skylanders of the Lighthouse. To level 3. Please. All right, we got some turtle 
wants to push. Look at that shield block. Look at those strength. Look at that protein remove. Alright, get out of here. That was actually a pretty cool shield block, though. I don't use the, his shield as much as I should. I normally just swing and mash buttons. Like a, you know, like a Roy main in Smash. Anyways. Although, honestly, Roy is pretty fun. But, anyways. Alright, here's a little... Another Habanero. Actually, hold on. Uh, I don't think I'm fast enough. You can actually catch him before he starts running. But yeah, I'm not fast enough. If you're, if you're a character with projectiles, you can just stop him. Let's go ahead and grab the story scroll. A note from Professor P. Grungalli says, For years, fishermen have hunted an enormous hungry fish that lurked in the deep end of the lagoon. No one has seen the fish lately. Or the fishermen, come to think of it. Alright, we're not going to chase him. We're going to block his path with this big boy. There. You don't see hopping on uh, Yaros very often. Um, really, I think they're mainly in, like, maybe... I know they're in one more level. I know they're in an Earth level. I don't know if they... Oh, no, they're also in, in a Tech level. I remember that. But, yeah, see? I mean... It's really nothing... And you had a nice little 25 gold for your trouble. Alright, unlock the gate. We're gonna move on. Try to get a little bit of money. That'd be nice. Alright, there's that first statue we need to get. We're gonna push the turtle back, because there's Zap Soldier up there. Which means we're gonna need to get up there somehow. In an undead level two, uh, you might be right. Yeah, you might be right actually. All right, well, thank you for blowing that up. I already knew that teleporter was there, but thank you for revealing it. I just want to take care of all these enemies real quick. Hello. something else but you feel like there is one no i think you might be right i don't remember which one but i think you might be right all right there's zap soul gem Yep, there should be a, what, treasure chest right here? Some, sometimes the treasure actually could fall off this little island and go into the water. You can get that treasure with a water Skylander. If you want to. It didn't there, that's nice. Yeah, that gets chopped up a little bit. I don't know if he actually... I don't remember, was the Vampire Aura the first one that we could get? Was it going to upgrade? Or just so that we can't get an upgrade yet. There's another Habanero. Maybe there's a turtle this way. Hello. I love that sound effect. Okay, so we're gonna block his path right here. There we go. I don't know why he falls. I mean, I guess that means like you can't move him now, but. I mean, there's not really a change in slope there. Alright, I'm coming. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where'd he go? Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? You, you have a brain. 
Wait a minute, you, you chose the right option. What are you gonna do now? Oh my gosh, okay, I take everything back. Hello, Gurglefin. Oh, I didn't get my 25 gold. Oh well. Let's go ahead and we're gonna grab the treasure right back here. There's also a nice little 20 gold sitting there for some reason. Alright, all treasure chests. We actually are almost done with the level. This isn't a very long one, but it's a good one. I just, I, I like tropical things, so. Kind of fits that build just a little bit. Alright, we have a turret. using a live Skylander, because again, the watermelons are not the way to go. Unfortunate, too, because I like throwing watermelons. I'm going to aim for the masts. There we go. Simple. Alright, now it's I don't remember if it's before or after you do that turret when it becomes available, but I know it's available after you do it. So that's why I just went ahead and waited. I wouldn't want to like use the time to try to get the legendary treasure and then be like, oh, it's not spawning. I have to do the turret. You know what I mean? But you need a water sky later. And again, I know you can do this after. I don't know if you can before the turret, but I know you can after. You got to come out here. And you gotta find the Leviathan. I actually never figured this out as a kid. This is another thing I learned as an adult. Where's the Leviathan? There he is. And there it is. And that's 350 gold. We got this right here. Yeah, that is how you get the legendary treasure. Did not know that as a kid. Oh. Alright. We're going to finish out his Wham Shell. Because, again, we want to. I want to collect all the eternal sources with the Skylander we're using of that element. We are at the end here of this level. That is the last statue that we need. Oh, well, you look at that. definitely gives that guy a run for his money. And here we are, at the shrine. Alright, let's grab it. Or something bad happens. Why wouldn't it, honestly? Hello, Chaos. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A 
Darkwing, Skylander, and Eon Portal Master at Frank here. Ah, and I see you just happen to be looking for the Eternal Water Source. <laughs> Correction. Hi, Eternal Water Source. Well, you're too late. I am Chaos Emperor of Skyland and a real Portal Master. And you are never getting out of here alive. <laughs> My evil water dragon will take care of you. Attack! Alright. So for those who have not played this game, uh, Chaos actually throws evil versions of Skylanders at you. Um, obviously, but there wasn't an air fight. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish there was a, a fight against every element, because I think it'd be really cool. But there's four. The first one here is, of course, water. Although we do not get to fight all four water Skylanders, so he only has three. So we'll only have three for each of the elements that we fight. But it's still pretty neat. So, you defeated my minion. First deal. I'm just getting started. I summon the Deadly Shark Bath of Doomstar! Alright, and then we'll also throw some spells at you. The water spell is Doom Sharks. Now, if you run into them in the middle, they'll explode. If you go right on the outside of them, you actually heal. Um. Yeah, I think it's a little too forgiving, but we're gonna take it. It's really helpful in locks and everything. Like, this isn't a hard level. Like, we're not gonna lose a Skylander in the future lock or anything. However, if there's ever Doom Sharks in the future, it's a really nice free heal. But, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy with the heal, because if you mess up your movement and you land in the middle of one, you're taking damage. And you actually get like very minimal experience, but you get a tiny bit of experience from that. Hmm. You seem to be lucky. Sort of. Well, your luck has run out. Now you face my evil, amphibious, kill man! <laughs> the evil Gilgrunt. Ready for battle! Twenty-seven damage. That's not bad. But I mean, every swim with the mace is twenty-one damage. So we take those hits. That little special sound effect with the exclamation point means a critical hit. That's what that means. Of course, we'll get that heal from the Doom Sharks, so. Ah, you may have bested my evil amphibious kill man for now, but this is far from over. Far from it! I summon the even deadlier shark bath of Doom Shark! Alright, round two, baby. Now he's got Doom Sharks. Oh, wait, not, not quite. There, now he's got them kind of around the side, so you can't really escape. Still doesn't make it very hard. Right, come on, I actually need some heals here. And there we go. Difficult. Impossible! You survived my best water spell! And, uh, I mean, you survived a very mediocre water spell that I found laying around. Come on. I am not impressed! 
and neither is my evil ice yeti. Attack! All right, finally we've got an evil version of Slam Bam. Who can't pack a punch? That joke wasn't intended, but I'm gonna pretend like it was. Yeah, 76. That does that does good damage. Sound a little bad. It's not. They all don't have much health. Well, we gotta be careful because two of them have projectiles. So, in Slam Bam actually does do good damage, and Ram Shells will be able to care. So, let's get Zap out of here. Get Zap out of here. Thank you. But we still get the health from defeating them, and Doom Sharks will appear if we take too long. But I mean, we get the health from. Defeating the Skylander, we have the Doom Sharks to heal. It's not really that much of a boss. However, it's been a long time since I've done this boss fight with a character that fights up close. I did forget that um, Slam Bam does like 76 damage per hit. See, I, I'm pretty sure I defeated... Oh, I didn't actually get the enemy goal right. I didn't attack the enemies that were on those platforms. You have brought the Eternal Water Source. Excellent, young Portal Master. Now water shall return to the core of life. Among Us is taking a bath. Uh, master, is everything all right? Of course everything is all right. Why wouldn't everything be all right? Well, I just thought that since the Skylanders got the eternal water source... Ha! Ah, do you hear me? I say ha! Ah, those fools think they're winning. Well, they're not. No, why? Uh, the darkness is spreading, Glumshanks! No matter their feeble attempts to rebuild Eon's machine, I am still winning! <laughs> now is everything alright? Hi, Black! Poor Glumshanks. Excellent! The eternal water source is once again part of the core of light. But the darkness will continue to spread until we have all the eternal sources. There's a beautiful wing sapphire. Now that was unexpected. And again, hmm. convenience. I need to do a little research to find where you must go next. But in the meantime, why don't you investigate the beach down there? I've been hearing strange noises coming from there for a while. 
All right. And we will be doing that in the next Even episode. What does Flynn have to be... say, actually? Well, if you're looking for the best pilot ever, you found him. But if you're looking for where to go next, keep searching. You want to take a balloon ride with Skyland's greatest pilot? Of course, that'd be me. We can't take a balloon ride with Flynn. We won't. But it let you just look at the island a little bit. We did see a wing sapphire down there. I could go grab it, but I'm not going to because it's gonna make me. It would make me grab it again at the beginning of the next episode, and nah, that's all right. Wham shell, what can you get? All right, press E to create the electrified field. Let's go ahead and do that. We can afford that one. All right, we have seen this animation, so do that. Chop, chop. Can you get anything? Shield at the ready. Yeah, you can, actually. Okay, well, holding B, press A to shield bash. I can't do the Bone Brambler, so... There we go, we get a little spike on the shield. Alright. Well, there we go. That's gonna be the end of the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. We completed the Empire of Ice Adventure Pack and the water levels. Really cool how you actually get to watch the Core of Light get built with all the cutscenes of all the mechanisms kind of flowing together they just get cooler and cooler that's like one of my favorite things about this game actually is you actually get to see the progression of the machine but it's also kind of a status of your progression because you just get to see it in the background and watch it develop i just think that's really neat it's something they didn't have to do but i'm really glad that they did in the next episode we're gonna be taking on the third adventure pack of the let's play and we will be conquering the earth levels Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.